Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Have y'all been going through some withdrawals from not seeing the smokehouse recently? Well, I'm here to fix that for you. One thing about this here whole situation is the smokehouse is basically the refrigeration of the old timers. Your great grandparents may not have even had electricity. Electricity, people get the idea that you cannot live a good life without it. Does that mean for thousands of years people lived some kind of terrible existence without any good things? No, I don't mean that at all. It was a lot of places in the hills of Tennessee and Kentucky, people didn't get electricity till the mid 1900s. Something like this, maybe not this nice, but something close to this. Maybe something like what I had here before this tree fell and smashed my smokehouse. Something along that line, something a little more simple, was what people used to preserve. We're well into June, well into June, we've had some hot weather. Is it possible that bacon would still be good after all these days up in the 80s, well up in the 80s? Well, let's go in and take a look. I've still got some bacon in here. Let's see how much we've got left and if it's any good. Oh, now I could have swore I had more than that hanging in here. Oh my goodness. There's only three bacons left out here. What did you do with the rest of them, son? I didn't, I don't know, you ate them, son. I ate them? Yeah. I thought there was a whole rack of them out there. There's only three little pieces out there. You can't help it. You've been in there sneaking no. them. Bob, he's up in South Dakota and he even knows the tip from up there. Well, How come it's the people farthest away that knows the most? I don't know why. <laughs> you rascal, you. And one of the big reasons for building that table is to work as a baffle to spread the smoke out more evenly in here. But as you can see, these two are very dark. Now they were hanging over the pipe. This one here, this one was not hanging over the pipe directly, so it didn't get as much smoke. Now, smoke is a preservative, just like salt. So when we put these bacons through the salt, we're preserving them. We, sit, we hang them in here, we smoke them. Second layer of preservation. I'm at the point in life where I want everything to be so simple that a dummy can do it. And that's what I'm doing. Ain't that right? You think I'm a dummy? Did you just call me a dummy, Frank? No, I didn't call me a dummy, Frank. You <laughs> call yourself a dummy, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Now, it's, it's, it's on the video now. They've brewed me. We had to call the pop <laughs> They've been hanging here in 80 degree weather. They still look just fine, even though they're mangalitsa bacons and they have a low melting point. Now, this level of smoke right here does not have to be trimmed off. This is just fine. This is perfect. It's a little bit thin. It's a little bit on the thin side. It was a younger pig. These here, a little bit thicker. A little bit better, maybe from the Midland meat. But whatever the case may be, we're going to try this out. I'm gonna take this one on in because I think the darker smoke will naturally last longer in here. And as we get up into the 90s, we're gonna need better smoke preservation. If Frankie hadn't been out here pilfering my bacon, I'd probably have a whole rack of it here, but oh well. Let's slice some of this up right quick and fry it up and see if it's good. All right, let's pull this bacon out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut this door. Whenever you got bacon, bacon is really not good to cook much other way than sliced fairly thin. A lot of people lock up at that point and say, well, I don't have a meat slicer. You don't have to have a meat slicer. I've got a meat slicer and I don't even use it for slicing bacon these last couple of years. I've got bacon videos in the past. You go back and look where I'm using my bacon slicer. But honestly, you can do it with a knife, especially if you've got a good knife. This knife was give to me, but I've got them on Amazon since then. You can absolutely do wonderful work with a Victorinox. And the trick to any knife, whether it's a Victorinox or any knife, is to have it sharp so that when you're slicing, it's not yanking it back and forth, making it all smoothly. Yeah, I got that word in brain. I don't even know what it means. But anyway, I've got these on Amazon as well. It's the Warthog Knife Sharpener. A lot of people don't feel comfortable sharpening their own knife. 
This is called the Warthog Knife Sharpener. It's in the descriptions of this video, as is the Victorinox knife. And the only reason I do that is because who of us haven't looked for gears for the right knife and for the right knife sharpener that's easy to use, especially with the knife, it's gonna last you a long time. My buddy, Longbow Banjo, he processes deer every year. He did a thousand deer with one of these knives. It's amazing. This is called a six inch boning knife. It does amazing work. So whenever you get done sharpening, you're gonna have a little bit of residue, steel residue or whatever. Just wipe that off and then you're ready to slice your bacon. Now I know for a fact, we're not gonna eat this whole side of bacon today. So I'm not going to make it to where I can't hang it back up. I'm gonna leave my hook in it. And I'm just gonna start from one end. A lot of times this very first cut here is a little smokier than what we like. So we usually end up giving that to Rusty. Come on. Mmm, yummy. He don't seem to mind. Okay, to adjust your thickness of your bacon, you do it the same way that your bacon slicer, your meat slicer does it. It has a backstop. You push it to that backstop and then you slice it through. Here's your backstop. Place it to where you want the thickness of your bacon and slice it, just that easy. Now, this bacon's not gonna have any meat in the fat until we hit this point right here. If you think that's a problem, think again, because bacon, the fat in bacon is the best part. If you don't like that, you can give all of it to your Rusty, whatever your Rusty may be, your Bowser, and then just come down through here, slice, and this bacon is sort of sticking to my knife, but not a huge issue. And you know what? Different people in families like different thicknesses. So while you're slicing, say you've got somebody in the family that likes it thicker, somebody that likes it thinner, you can do it on demand, however you want. And in that way, the knife is more convenient. And you might think the knife is slower. That's something you can take care of yourself is the speed of it. But I think that you can actually slice it just as fast with a knife as you can with a meat slicer. Now you're starting to see the meat develop there. Wow, it smells good. And you can see the, so the smoke penetration was pretty good on this one. Got her bacon slice now. You can see right there. Beautiful. It looks like bacon. It is bacon. It's got three strips of meat, three strips of fat, and that changes as you go along the side there. But it is mangalitsa, and it is good. You just take what's left over, hang it back up, and you hope to goodness that Frank don't find it. All right, let's get this bacon in there. Let's fry it up. Let's see how good it is. Son. Yeah, look at that, son. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look at me. Is that tempting? <laughs>
my God. What are you looking at, young man? I'm looking at what are you doing? What are you looking at, young man? Hey, them bacon is burnt, didn't he? You're going to get that man. How do you do it when you cook them at your house, mister? I don't cook them at my house. Yeah, either. we know better than that. <laughs> we know you. Like well, let me scratch you. <laughs> yeah, get over here, boy. Behave, boy. I can't behave. I got to be me. <laughs> What's in your ear? Brains? Yeah, brains. <laughs> All right, everybody, come in together. All right. You love breakfast time, don't you? What'd you do? Oh, he slaughtered his garlic, Mom. No, I didn't do that. Yes, I got it. Oh, he slaughtered his tooth. Oh, man, I got it. What'd you get? Folks, this guy. He's done gone garlic crazy. I can't believe it. Charlotte from my Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. Oh, my goodness. Frank was trying to give you bacon. No, no, but I got to give you my little. Taught me some of them words I don't know what mean, and I say them on camera. <laughs> laugh. Oh, I'm laugh. Yeah, we're gonna laugh. Pumpkin chocolate chip. Yeah. Pumpkin chocolate chip pancakes, folks. The good life just got gooder. That's a syrup. Syrup, please. Maple syrup coming right up. Just right. Well, I've been to Mr. Campaign. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Be careful that it gets your sugar diabetes work done. Oh, I had to make it. I had to make it for me. You did? What happened? Gotta go for another chicken. A little shot of bacon with a little bit of that syrup on it? You gotta go for another chicken. about the bacon. Yeah, I know. I want to know what you think about this bacon because it never was refrigerated. It's been hanging out there in the summer heat all this time. Yeah, it might be good. I'm going to say it's good. You're going to say it's good, but you ain't going to eat it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you said that because I hate it. <laughs> You pay me, son. You pay me good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frank. He takes his payment out in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Salted, smoked. He said there ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing else to get him out in the dark sneaking around here. <laughs> <laughs> After it hangs out there and dehydrates a little more, I think it makes the fat firm up when you fry it. It actually does better, Mom. When it's fresh, it just melts and goes away. Well, folks, Frank's taking his last bite. Once we turn the camera off, the rest of this goes away. He don't get no more. <laughs> oh, folks, I'm telling you what. But a good life does not require a lot of modern convenience. Build yourself a smokehouse, smoke yourself some bacon. You will have the good life right there in a nutshell. So we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Thank right, you. Gotta go. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at him.